Hey, I got a best kept secret for you, the self-contained through beam sensor. This is a photoelectric sensor and it's all in one housing. The, the emitter and the receiver are all in one housing and so you get the best. You get the most reliable photoelectric uh, technology with through beam, but you don't have to worry about two housings and two mountings and aligning and all of those kinds of things. These get used in airproofing and alignment and part in place and counting and feeding and level applications. But but something that you have to know about these is there's a lot of different light sources. And so I'm gonna talk about some of the light sources today. The first one here is the red light. And the red light uses a, a diffuse beam, a, a beam that kind of uh, spreads out, and it's the most economical technology. It can detect parts down to about a half a millimeter in, in diameter, and it's available in all the, 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 the L-frame, the, the fork sensor, and, and different housings. It's the most economical version. The next is the pinpoint red light, and that is uh, somewhere between laser and the red light versions. The laser version is the most precise version. Um, it can detect small parts and variations, different positions. It can actually detect position down to 0.08 millimeters uh, with the precision of the laser. So the laser is the most precise, and it's also available in C and L frame. And the laser is high speed. The last is infrared. If you've got oil or dust or anything that's, that's bugging uh, in your application, uh, anything that's causing false switching, uh, the, the infrared can't see, right? We can't see infrared, but it can actually burn through the meat of my finger and uh, it has that much gain. So the smallest detectable part with an infrared light uh, uh, sensor like this is one millimeter. It's available in the, the traditional C-frame, the L-frame that you just saw, as well as in this rugged version used for stamping and welding. So there are other different types of light uh, for being able to detect transparent objects as well as um, detect fluids to do level applications. Uh, but remember, uh, this is where to start when designing an automation assembly, uh, robotics, uh, packaging food and beverage, or, or metal stamping application. The self-contained through beam is, is, a, is a great workhorse in our portfolio. And uh, if you want to see what will fit in your application, visit the Balf website and go to the product selector.